Son? Good morning. Woo! Good morning. <laughs> we got it. Welcome to the 2019 First Robotics Competition St. Joseph District. This year's game, we are playing on a field. I'm standing on the field. And on that field, we're going to be playing for the Destination Deep Space, presented by the Boeing Company. Thank you to the Boeing Company. We're doing that because we're recognizing 50 years of space exploration. Space exploration has a lot of similar parts to FIRST. We're doing things in teams. We're working together with resources, resources that are vast, stuff like information technology, mentorship, programming, and building. The things that we're doing here are really going to lead forward not only what you're doing today, but beyond what we're going to even be doing in the space and in the future. So with that in mind, we've got some great teams. We've got some veteran teams. Let's hear our veteran teams. Let's hear you out there. Yep, yep. And then here at this competition right now, today, we have five rookie teams. Let's hear it, rookie teams. It's awesome to see more and more people being a part of FIRST Robotics. So before we get to the match play, we want to hear from our founder, Dean Kamen, FIRST advisor, Woody Flowers, and President Don Bosi. Let's hear from them. Welcome to Destination Deep Space, presented by the Boeing Company. It's almost time to blast off. Working with your partners in deep space, you're gonna make this another graciously professional event. 
first works due to all of your mentors, teachers, parents, sponsors, suppliers, and our terrific event volunteers, including many first alumni. They've led the way with their dedication, leadership, and talents. So be sure to thank them all for helping you on this fantastic journey. You continue to impress with your creative design, your teamwork, and your resolve to help FIRST make this a better world. So a big thanks from FIRST to you. You really are out of this world. Continue to think big while having the hardest fun you'll ever have. And good luck to all. It's time for Destination Deep Space. All right, all right. It's always nice to hear from them, hear what they have to say about the, the year, wishing us well wishes, because the last time we probably saw them, we've watched a lot of videos in the meantime, but the last time we probably saw them was at kickoff. So hearing from them again is really nice. What we want to do is take a second, our season sponsor, Boeing, we want to take a se second and say thank you to Boeing. They really are pushing forward what's happening in space and space exploration. So we're going to take a second as well to recognize them and hear from what they have to say. Space is a compelling place. You know, I think about what it's going to take to go to Mars someday. It is going to take a team, right, led by NASA's exploration cadre of astronauts and the vehicle that will take them there. And then I look at the Boeing team, the Boeing team that has pulled this together. But I look at this team and, and they are second to none. I work at Boeing at the Florida Space Coast site, supporting the CST-100 program. I'm a stress analysis engineer, so I ensure that the spacecraft has sufficient structural integrity to take it through its missions. I am a design engineer, so I help design any of the production or ground support hardware that um, helps lift, move, or integrate any of the rocket parts together for SLS. I'm a mechanical engineer. I'm in the design visualization group here. Uh, we do high-level uh, modeling and simulations. I'm building a rocket that's going to go back into space, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> there is nothing more important than teamwork in what we do here. It takes the best minds and it takes really good, solid communication. Probably my favorite part of engineering is the creating. The ability to be working on a project and see it go from just a bunch of drawings on paper or a bunch of models in a computer to, as you can see behind me, an entire spacecraft. So we're just building the foundation for the generations after us to build better rockets, to get to different planets. Maybe they'll make it to Jupiter or any of the other planets. You can never learn too much. No matter what you're learning, it's always applicable somewhere. Working on a, one of the first commercial crew programs since the retirement of the shuttle is, is a complete honor and privilege. This is something that we all take a great deal of pride in. Being part of the team going to Mars, I mean, I get goosebumps every time I think about it. I've always had a passion for um, pushing new frontiers in space, space exploration. Being a part of SLS and of America's space program is a dream come true for me. Thanks to Boeing. Our first speaker this morning is Sean Gallagher. He's a robotics and STEM advocate here in our area, and he's the principal of Penn High School. Let's welcome Sean Gallagher. Thank you. So who's excited for some first competition today? All right, there we go. So welcome to Penn High School. We're super excited to host this event. Um, again, this year, we, we feel it's a fabulous opportunity to not only showcase all the talents of our young um, individuals, our students in our schools, but it's just a great community event. So we're extremely thrilled to have everyone here today. Um, before I go any further, I have to give a shout out to Team 135. Team 135, Penn High School right here in the middle. Good luck to you guys today. So we hope you enjoyed safe travels. I know many of you uh, maybe stayed overnight. Uh, we hope you enjoy a fabulous day uh, here at Penn High School as we welcome you. We know through all the communication you're going to hear that this experience is preparing our next generation of STEM leaders. I, it's it's amazing and inspiring what I see the kids doing in our lab 
And I know when I walk through the cafeteria, you see students and just the things that they're doing with programming, manufacturing, um, marketing, advertising, community events, all those things contribute to their, um, their work today. And it's, it's an amazing experience for them. And I'm so proud of all of you that are here today, especially uh, many of the new teams that are, are competing for the first time. I wish you guys luck as well. So students, um, I wanna start actually with the students. So let's make sure that we applaud our next generation of leaders for all their hard work getting here today. So parents, mentors, um, all the adults, let's give our students a round of applause. I know uh, a few of my own children are super excited to, to be a part of this someday. They're, they're currently on FLL teams. Anybody do FLL at some point? Raise your hand. So FLL kind of got you here. That's, yeah, you can give yourself a round of applause. That's great. So I know they're excited to eventually be a part of this type of experience. So students, you know that you can't uh, achieve your goals without supporting mentors, teachers, uh, business, um, folks in the community that come in and volunteer their time, all the school staff, the custodians, just imagine all this got set up yet starting yesterday. Um, an amazing number of adults put in a, a lot of volunteer hours. So students, let's give all of our adult mentors and folks a round of applause. All right, so I'm gonna keep this short, but I wanna make sure you guys have a fantastic day of competition. But the last thing I wanna say is, um, you know, there are a lot of people here. If you got, yeah, those of you in the bottom row, you look up, the bleachers are filled. So we have a lot of folks here, and we're excited to host. It's one of the things that we talk about with our students all the time is our take three, which is take care of yourself, take care of each other, and Penn students, what's the third? take care of this place. So you'll see those signs as you walk the halls of Penn High School, go back and forth, go back and forth to the cafeteria. And we just, uh, we hope that you all work together to take care of each other and take care of our building today as you navigate Penn High School. Good luck to all the teams and congratulations for getting here. Thank you. Good morning. We are part of the planning committee for this event, so thank you all for coming today. Um, like Mr. Gallagher was talking about, it took a lot of work to make this work. We have hundreds of volunteers here over the next three or the next two days uh, so that we can have an amazing competition and we can watch these amazing robots uh, perform and you can all have some fun. So I want to take a minute to recognize our volunteer coordinator. She got all of these volunteers, she coordinated them, she gets them set up. Uh, she worked tireless hours over the last couple of months to make this possible for you. So if you can give me a, 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 round, a warm up round of applause for Kim Kelsey, our volunteer coordinator. Kim. And our next speaker is Nick Cleva from the Visit South Bend Mishawaka organization. It's kind of cool, right? Because he's the sports market director and he's here at our event. Welcome, Nick. Thank you. Welcome to South Bend. Like you said, I'm with Visit South Bend Mishawaka. I work on behalf of all these groups coming to South Bend um, and, and get you guys all the information you need, all your hotel accommodations to make your stay here in South Bend a memorable one. Just by a show of hands, how many uh, first timers in South Bend? Yeah, we got a couple out there. So welcome, welcome. I also want to take an opportunity to thank Josiah, um, Kim, Renee, and Penn High School for hosting this event. So can we give them a round of applause? 
without their help, we couldn't make this event possible. So uh, we, our, our organization recognized them just this past May. We gave them a tourism award um, just for all their work and dedication. And all this wouldn't be possible without your schools and without your participation um, on that. So on, they accepted it, but it was also on, on your guys' behalf. Just like everyone else is saying, congratulations on all your hard work and dedication on making these robots. This is my first time at a robotics event, and I'm so excited. This is amazing to me. I would never in a million years be able to do something like this. So congratulations. All this hard work and all this success will lead you in the future with this sales head, working as a team, working together to form something unique, and it will help you achieve all your goals in the future. Going on with that, with, with South Bend, there's a lot of very cool things going on. If you have any extra time, I encourage everyone to get on the community. You know, we have University of Notre Dame. They're a very high uh, research school, so go tour their campus. Um, we also have, you know, Strikes and Spares, Sky Zone, some, some unique team bonding opportunities out there, so I encourage you. And one of our newest, um, attractions in the area is, is Top Golf Swing Suite. So as you can imagine, that technology there is based on everything that you guys are, are encouraging. So they have, you know, golf, they have zombie dodgeball, they have um, hockey, they have everything that you can imagine. So I would encourage you, like I said, go out there and, and check that out. We have an information table over here when you walk in. So there's visitor guides and some more information there. Um, but I just want to say thank you again. Congratulations and good luck this weekend. Thanks so much, Nick. All right, so now we need to introduce some people. We have a couple groups of people that uh, some of you in the audience may know, some of you may not, and we need to recognize what they're here to do and who they are. So let's start right in front of me with the folks in blue. These are the judges. The judge, round of applause. <laughs> Our judge advisor, Ben Trevini, is leading this group to make sure that they're getting to know you and your team. So make sure they get to know you. A part of that is letting, letting them know what you've done, what you're trying to do, and what you, how you as a team operate. So if you see them, say hi. The other fun part is they're coming from industry, which means during the day, they have something going on that you might be interested in. After this weekend, maybe a conversation about that work could lead to an internship or down the road a job. So make sure you ask them about what they do as well. Thanks, judges. On your left to the very back of the field are our referees. Give us a wave, refer referees. <laughs> referees are led by Andrew Corrington, and they're making sure that everything on the field is as it should be, that you're playing within the rules, that teams are being safe, and that you're awarded the points necessary. We're gonna make sure that this field is what it needs to be, and you're playing to all the rules you should. So thanks to them and their volunteerism all weekend long. Let's give them a round of applause. In first, we like to focus on safety. So as well as competing like crazy, we're gonna make sure that we're being safe. And to do that, we have our safety advisors. Give us a big wave, safety advisors. Nick Leach is heading up the safety advisory team sponsored by UL. Underwriters Laboratories make sure that in the pits and here in the arena, we're doing things that make sense and staying safe. This year, the game animation around safety was won by Team 5348, Charger Robotics from Minnesota. Let's check out their game animation.
There's always a lot to do before a rocket launch, but safety should always be the number one priority. Always get plenty of sleep. It's important to stay awake and play it safe. Protect your eyes, hands, and feet with the proper attire. Keep your hair tied back and no loose clothes. Always make sure to secure parts before cutting. In case of emergencies, read up on your team's safety procedures and always power down the robot before working on it. With all the proper precautions taken and the work done, we're ready to blast off. All right, all right. Speaking of safety, we want to mention to make sure that all teams note as you're moving throughout the venue, the emergency exits, the exit doors, and you have a plan in case of emergency to meet up somewhere outside of the building. If you haven't had that discussion amongst your team, please do so. So in FIRST, we do a lot of different things. Being an alumni of FIRST Robotics myself, I know that students and a mentor, students are not only doing technical skills, they're programming the robot, they're here competing with the robot. There's all these interpersonal skills, there's the marketing, the business, and the finance. It all has to get paid for somehow. All those skills are things that colleges, universities, they want to know about it. And so FIRST partners with over 200 colleges and universities to provide with you with hundreds of millions of dollars. I can't wait till that's a B. Maybe it'll be billions. Maybe next year we can say billions. But there's scholarships ranging over $800 million at this point for you for you having participated in FIRST to then go to that university. They want you there. So, with all those skills, talking about them on your applications, in your interviews, we wanna make sure that you're connected with those universities that wanna reward you for all the hard work you've put in. So, we made a video. <laughs> Let's check it out. It allowed me to volunteer and give back to the community. I think FIRST can really prepare you to solve any number of the world's big problems. The skills that you're going to be learning can completely change the future. Yep, yep. In recognizing all of that hard work, one of the awards we offer here at FIRST is something called the Dean's List Award. And that's where a team is able to recognize an individual student. And so we'd like to again recognize those students. Anyone who's been nominated for a Dean's List Award, please stand. Let's clap for these folks. Anyone who's... It's awesome. The, the Dean's List Award recognition is fantastic. Reading some of those submissions is fantastic. Another group of people that's really important on teams are the coaches and the mentors. They're so vital to the infrastructure of FIRST. They bring about resources from the community. They provide mentorship one-on-one -on -one with students. 
and supporting them with resources is important as well. First Robotics has a new program. It's called Jumpstart. And Jumpstart's for FLL and FTC teams. This resource will allow teams to get to know the game better, maybe program sooner, do all the things that they need to do later a little sooner so they can get a jump start ahead on whatever they need to do for the competition season. So this new program is available through April, so we want you to take advantage of it now so that you have a chance to use everything we've created for you. And so up on the screen you can see if you're a part of a FTC or FLL team, which many of you I'm guessing are mentoring, then please go ahead and find out more about Jumpstart and take advantage of that program. In addition to a Jumpstart program that's aimed at, let's say, JV, FLL, right, or uh, FTC, so the program's right before FRC. Here at the weekend today, from 11 to 2, behind me, so where all you folks up there are sitting, in the West Balcony, on what we call the East Balcony, we have something going on called the Next Gen Day. So youngsters can play with Legos, watch the FTC tournament go on, and there's FTC robots over there, and we're engaging them in ways that encourage them to be a part of what you're doing, and eventually be on this field. So if you know someone or a family that needs to be here today from 11 to 2, tell them to go over to Next Gen Day. And so, uh, without further ado, we do have a third special guest speaker here. You may have seen him kind of wandering around. You may see him right now as he's probably approaching the field. But the first president, Don Bosi, that you saw in the video is here today with us. I'd like to welcome him. Round of applause for Don Bosi. Good morning, Indiana! How you doing? I'm so excited to be here, although I have to tell you, I do get a little interesting experience when I visit Indiana. As you may notice, I have a slight physical resemblance to a former governor who now spends a lot of time in Washington. So I get really strange looks when I walk through the airport or stop at a Starbucks. Uh, usually the fact that I have no uh, Secret Service with me is the giveaway that no, I'm, I'm not the person they think I am. That's okay, I'd rather be here with you. First, I really want to start off by saying a huge thank you to Penn High School the leadership, the faculty, the students that made all of this event possible, not just this facility, but really taking over so much of the whole facility. It's absolutely incredible. It's wonderful to be here. And please, let's give a huge round of applause to the folks from Penn High School. I'm not a big basketball fan personally, but I have to say, I love the venues. They work really well for us. So uh, it's, uh, I wish every school in the country had a, uh, had a gymnasium laid out just like this. It would make our lives a lot easier. I also want to give a huge round of applause and thanks for the leadership of First Indiana and all the incredible volunteers who are here today to make this possible. It takes a complete village to put on one of these events, and we could not do it without all their support. The people that you see all around you in different color shirts, they're so much part of, of why this works. So please, a huge round of thanks and applause for them as well. Now I know you've all worked really, really hard for quite a number of weeks and you're all dying to get down here and sort of see how your, how your robots compete and your machines compete. So, I'm gonna keep my remarks really brief, but I want you to remember one word. And that word is opportunity. First is all about creating opportunity. So that's gonna happen this weekend. You are in a room full of incredible people. Don't overlook that opportunity. While you'll be super intense on what goes on here and fixing your robot and things that didn't work, be sure to take the time to meet all the people that are around you. 
There are some incredible, there are many, many incredible people in this room. And you'll have missed a huge opportunity if you don't take the time to get to know them. And a great example of that is the folks down front here in the blue shirts. Yes, they want to get to know you, but get to know them. As, as the MC mentioned, these are people that might end up opening doors for you in the future. So be sure they get to hear your story, but also ask them about their story. Get to know what they do, get to know what led them to this point in their career, get, get to know what, what kind of things they've done in their career that are super exciting. So just here this weekend, you'll have incredible opportunity. As you heard, also as you graduate and as you move on, maybe you're not a student in FIRST anymore, but we're still about creating opportunity for you. $80 million in scholarships, a growing internship program, an incredible network of incredible people around the world that you are now part of. You are now part of that community for the rest of your life. Take advantage of it. It is an incredible opportunity. And then lastly, when we talk about opportunity, I have to point out that you are really the most fortunate people. You are fortunate in that you come from a school or a community where someone got hooked on first and created these programs in your school or in your community and made this possible for you. But sadly, these programs only exist in about 15 to 20 percent of the schools or communities even in our country. So a big part of what my day job is and a big part of what I spend time thinking about is how do we make these programs more available, more accessible to more kids, especially those that aren't always from the most fortunate communities. And so I actually want to give a huge shout out to the five rookie teams that are here joining us today and to the two teams that are here that helped to recruit several of those teams. So our host team, Penn High School, helped recruit their crosstown rival at Mishawaka High School. So shout out to Penn for that. And also a shout out to the Castle team for recruiting two of the rookies that are here and having two more in the pipeline for next year. You guys rock. So again, I wish you all a great event, a great season, and thank you all for being part of the amazing FIRST community. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks so much for being here, Don. So we've heard from the venue, we've heard from our community, now the president of FIRST. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand while we sing the national anthem, Julia Fisher. Let's get comfortable. Teams, get on the field. Let's power it up. Let's get started.